In this lesson, we're going to take a look at the systematic nomenclature for aldehydes and ketones. An aldehyde is a carbonyl compound with a hydrogen bonded directly to the carbonyl carbon. An aldehyde is a suffix modifying functional group, replacing the E ending of the parent alkane with AL. As with other suffix modifying functional groups, the parent chain is the longest carbon chain that contains the functionalized carbon. So in this first example, the longest carbon chain that contains the functionalized carbon is a two carbon chain, making this an ethane derivative. We drop the E and add the AL, and the name becomes ethanol. Ethanol is almost always referred to by its common name, acetaldehyde. As you'll see, the structural motif of a methyl group bonded to a carbonyl will often result in simple molecules receiving common names. In the next example, we have a three carbon chain aldehyde, so this is propanal. As with other suffix modifying functional groups, the carbons of the parent chain are numbered starting on the end that is closer to that functional group. You can see from the first two examples that the one locant value for the aldehyde is rarely included in the name. Because aldehydes are carbonyl compounds that are directly bonded to a hydrogen, it guarantees that the carbon chain can only continue in one direction, so the aldehyde carbon will always have the locant value of one. Remember that all the other rules for suffix modifying functional groups apply. For example, suffix modifying groups have a numbering priority over prefix modifying groups. So in this example, the carbon chain is numbered starting from the right because that's the side that's closer to the carbonyl. So in this case, we see a six carbon aldehyde with a methyl group on the third carbon, which means this is three methyl hexanal. A ketone is a carbonyl compound with two carbon groups bonded directly to the carbonyl carbon. As with aldehydes, a ketone is a suffix modifying functional group. The E is dropped from the alkane parent chain and the O-N-E suffix is added. The simplest ketone is 2-propanone, which has a common name, acetone. You might know acetone because it's commonly used as a nail polish remover. In the next example, we can see that the ketone is a part of a 5-carbon chain, making this a pentanone. We number the carbons of the parent chain starting from the end that is closer to that suffix modifying group, which means going left to right in this case. That places the carbonyl on the second carbon, so here we have 2-pentanone. Because the carbonyl of a ketone must go on to two carbon groups, it's possible for those two carbon groups to loop together, forming a ring. So in this example, we can see that the parent chain would be a five carbon ring, cyclopentane, making this compound cyclopentanone. Remember that all of the rules for naming suffix modifying functional groups apply to ketones. For example, suffix modifying groups have a numbering priority over prefix modifying groups when numbering the carbon chain. So in this example, you can see that we number the carbon chain starting on the right because that is the side that is closer to the carbonyl. That places the methyl group on the fifth carbon of the six carbon chain. So here we have 5-methyl, 3-hexanone. 